First and highest voted question comes from Lee. The Binance rollback that was proposed, Binance said they considered rolling back the Bitcoin chain, uh, but then decided against it. How on earth would that have even happened if they had decided to go that route? What would have happened? Would, just, would this just mean Binance launching a 51% attack? Um, yes, Lee. So that's basically what they were proposing. Um, in order to roll back the chain, what it would require um, on Binance's side would be uh, to persuade enough miners, 51% uh, or more of the miners, to uh, go back, uh, pick a block before the withdrawals happened uh, that was spending Binance coins and sending them to an attacker address, uh, the withdrawals that were recorded on the blockchain, pick a block before they happened, set that as the parent of the next block, and start mining from that point onwards. Now, imagine that they decided to do this a day after the attack. So at that point, they would have to persuade miners to go back 145 blocks, um, which would be you know, exactly one day, or some such amount, and start mining 145 blocks in the past, and then use their um, hashing power to overtake the 49% of miners, presumably, that would be mining um, from the current block, from the longest chain, and overtake them, and therefore cause a reorganization of the chain. And during this time, what they would do is they would deliberately uh, mine a double spend transaction from Binance, spending all of the outputs that were stolen by the attacker to Binance addresses. And once that's in there, then the transaction from the attacker would not succeed, because uh, those coins will have already been spent on the chain being mined by the miners trying to do the rollback. But think about it for a second. Like a 51% is not actually enough. And part of the reason it's not enough is because at a rate of 1% advantage over the chain being mined by the 49%, um, they would only uh, achieve a one block gain um, every day. So every 100 blocks, they'd catch up by one block. Now, think about this for a second. The attacker is uh, um, the, the chain that uh, the miners are trying with a 51% to remine, to reorganize, um, only has a 1% advantage over the one being mined by the rest of the miners of 49%. But it starts more than 145 blocks in the past. Let's say that Binance didn't manage to launch this attack for a day. Uh, at this point, gaining only 1% per day means only one block in 100. So as they mine block minus 145, the other 49% of the miners mine block one, uh, extending their chain by one, They're just about 10% faster. So after they've mined 100 blocks, they're still 45 behind, but the other chain has now mined 99 blocks also. Um, and so they started 145 blocks behind, and 100 blocks later, there are 144 blocks behind. Another 100 blocks, there are 143 blocks behind. At that rate, it would take them 150 days almost to catch up, overtake, and rewrite the chain. That is a very, very long time, during which, if anything goes wrong, let's say just 1% of the miners abandon this effort and go to the other side, it's all over. All of that uh, energy that they tried to put towards remining the chain, rolling it back, is wasted. Now, let's say that Binance managed to do this in a much shorter period of time. They acted very, very quickly, collaborated with the miners. Don't know how they would do that exactly. Um, They'd have to figure out, um, perhaps by persuading pools to join them, but the pools may start losing miners. It's a very, very contentious act. And they did it within five blocks. Well, e even in that case, 
it would still take a very, very significant effort to overtake the other chain because they're still only uh, 10, uh, sorry, 1% faster. They'd have to get an overwhelming number of miners on their side, and they'd have to do it very, very quickly for this to even be doable uh, from a pure hashing perspective. Some people have suggested that one of the ways Binance might get miners to do this um, would be to bribe them. And of course, one way to bribe them is to make sure that the transaction that they introduce, which uh, spends Binance's outputs back to Binance, carries very, very high fees. And therefore, the miners are incented. They're going to get paid off for this. And those fees would have to be more than the rewards of the blocks that the miners would be rolling back. So let's say they, they, they rolled back five blocks. Well, the fees they would have to pay to bribe the miners would have to be more than 60 Bitcoin. Because you see, the miners can make 12 and a half Bitcoin just by continuing to mine blocks on the normal chain. If they go back and try to roll back the chain, that energy is going to be wasted, even if they win. Presumably, the 51% of miners who took this chance have already mined those blocks or participated in the mining of the blocks. They've already received a reward. If they go back and spend the energy twice, they're not receiving two rewards, because either one or the other chain is going to succeed. They're only going to get paid once, which means, as a result, that Binance would have to bribe them by the entire reward amount of however many blocks they're trying to overwrite, and then some, because they're doing something very risky, very, very risky, because if it fails, that's energy lost, and they're not going to get the reward from Binance, because they don't mind the transaction that has the fees. And then there's another little wrinkle, because at any point in time, the attacker can add a bribe of their own, and the only way, the easy way to do that is simply to chain a transaction on top of the stolen funds that also pays a big fee to the miners. But here's the trick. The bribe from the attacker is much less risky because all the miners have to do is not play the rollback game and just continue to mine the chain, which is a much less risky proposition because they're not spending any energy to go against consensus. And they'd be able to earn that reward with almost 100% certainty. And so at that moment in time, if they roll back the chain, they lose the attacker's bribe. Um, but that's very risky. But if they don't roll back the chain, they get the attacker's bribe for much less risk, which means the attacker doesn't have to bribe them more than the block reward because they're not wasting energy. And... Um, doesn't have to bribe them more than Binance. Uh, in fact, has to bribe them a lot, a lot less, because it's a much less risky proposition. So the bottom line here is, how would the proposed rollback work? It wouldn't. It's as simple as that. It wouldn't. It's too risky. It would take enormous coordination. It would have to be done immediately, and there's no way uh, in my mind, that Binance would be able to incentivize enough miners once the miners understood that this um, could easily be thwarted by a simple bribe by the attacker that would cause them to waste all of that energy. Um, it's not as easy as people think to attack the chain, uh, even when you have motivation and hundreds of millions of dollars at stake.